So now onto the subheadings that will run along the left-hand side of the cover in here. So I've, again, I've got those in Microsoft Word. I'll jump over to Word and copy those and bring them back in here and paste them. So here they are. I'm going to copy everything that's remains for the cover in here. Keyboard shortcut of Command and C, Control C, and then back to InDesign. And then at the side of the page in here, I will just pick up my type tool and then click and drag out and draw a text frame and then paste. It just makes it easier to be able get the bits of text that I need then to put onto the cover. So the first thing is uh, the top title in here, which I need. I'm going to take the first line in here. I'm going to cut these in turn, hit the escape key and then pick up my zoom tool and then zoom into this region here for the first title. So again, I'm going to make sure that I'm on the text layer in the layers panel and then pick up my type tool and then click and drag and draw a reasonably sized text frame and then paste the text in there like so. And then I'll swipe over all of that and highlight it. And on all of these subheadings, they're all, again, as most of the text is on this page, Myriad Pro Black. So again, up here, Myriad Pro, change the style from regular to black. And then the size of this is going to be 26 points. So I'm just going to type that one in there. 26. And then for the leading value, that's going to be 22. And I'm then going to apply minus 40 tracking in there just to tighten those characters up. Now they need to be colored as well. So they need to be red. So I'll choose take a break red and press return. And then I'm going to go up to the window menu, go down to styles and then choose paragraph styles because we need to put a background in here of yellow for this to stand out to match the cover design. So I'm going to go down to the bottom down here, hold down the alt key, alt and left click and create a new style. And I'll just move this to the side so we can see this. I'm going to call this small heading, yellow background. And then we need to make sure that your apply style selection is turned on, preview checkbox is turned on, and then I can go down the list in here to something called paragraph shading. So I'm going to show you two different techniques for coloring the background behind text, this being the first of them. So if I turn on shading in here, you might then find you get this. Because the characters are still selected, it makes it difficult to evaluate what this color is going to look like. So that's not a problem. You know, I can just click on OK. I can hit the escape key on the keyboard. That is still applied in there. And so without the text highlighting it in there, I can just go back to right click on and choose edit small heading yellow. Ooh, I got a typo in there. I need to change that. It's going to really bother me. There we go. All's good. And then down to paragraph shading, and you'll notice that it's put a background in there of black, but it's a 20% strength of black. So we need to change this to take a break yellow. That needs to be 100%. And then hit the uh, tab key on the keyboard to go to the next field. So you can see at the moment that it's filling the full width of the text frame inside of here. Now, I don't want it to do that. Um, so what I'd like to do then is change that so that it affects not the width of the column, but text in here like so. And then the next step then is um, we need to apply some offsets in here. I'm then going to increase that. As you see, it pushes it up at the top by one millimeter to the left hand side by one millimeter and on the right hand side by one millimeter as well. So we've got a nice kind of, you know, kind of bit of yellow breathing space around the outside to sit those characters into. And with that done, really, um, that's it. Um, I'll click OK. And then you're going to uh, reduce the size of this like so. And I do need to center this as well. So um, I might go back into that and just choose edit and then under indents and spacing, change that to centered in there like so. And then I also need to change that to under basic character formats, all caps as well, which makes it look a lot bigger and I have to change the text frame again. So just drag that out. And the only thing is that it is occupying the full width in here. So this is probably down to the fact that I need to put a forced line break in there. So I'm going to hit the backspace key, hit the return key. There we go. Then I'll hit the escape key. And the reason why it was filling the full width in there is because it was all part of the same paragraph. But by putting a return in there, it treats these now technically as two separate paragraphs. And so it will only highlight just the word in there at the bottom and not the full width of the text, um, uh, which is from above in the word secret. Uh, with that done, I then need to rotate that. So I'm going to go up to the angle value at the top up there. Like so. Yeah. 
and then just drop that in around about here and then click away. So that's the first heading done. Again, with this one, I'm going to pick up uh, my text over here. Swipe over this. Notice that the text is already set to uppercase and lowercase according to the article in here. So again, I'm going to cut that from the text frame, hit the escape key. And then over here, I'm going to go to edit and then choose paste. And that will paste the text into its own frame. Drag that round in here, move this around. So again, this one, if I highlight all the text, this one is going to be style with again, Myriad Pro, but it's under regular. It's going to be black. 26 points and it needs to have a leading value in here that I need to tweak afterwards. But in terms of the colors, well, the color of this is going to be take a break red. It's also going to have an outline around it as well. So I'll go to the outline option in here and then change that one to white. So that's just going to be paper and then press return. I will need to go over to the window menu and then choose stroke, which pops up over here. And I'll close down the color panel and then I'll increase the stroke weight in there to two points like so. And then I need to move that to the side, hit the escape key so I can pull my text frame out here. I can see these characters a little bit more clearly. Move these around. And again, that will probably need to be center aligned. So back up to the top, center aligned. And this is where the leading comes in because I need to swipe over um, all of these in here and just increase to select them all, just increase the leading value in there just to pull them away generally. So that looks, that's looking okay. And then go back to the final line in here. And again, triple click in there to select all that text and then increase that to a leading value of 28 points. So uh, from there, then I might just hit the escape key, pull that one in just to just carry the word two into the next line down. And then I'll go up to the angle value minus four. So it's at the same angle as the one above it in there. And I need to just move that to the side so it's not over the baby's face. So I do need to move these over just a touch more in there. So that's it. That's the, that's the first title in here. Um, and then in the next video, I'll show you the middle section, which is pink.